All right, tonight we get another look at the wildly talented Magomed Ankalaev, not just one of the best light heavyweights in the world. For my money, one of the top 20 pound-for-pound -pound athletes on this roster top to bottom. I feel like he can compete with anyone, but I also feel like he has a style that translates weight classes, and that is what pound for pound feet means. This guy can strike. This guy can grapple. This guy has tremendous cardio. I don't think anything points to that more than the Bohovich fight. When it went bad, he just pivoted and did something different and almost became the champion. Tonight, he's got to be on his game if he wants to get his hand raised. And a lot of people believe against any 205er in the world, Magomed Ankalaev would be the betting favorite. Let us see how he handles this stylistic challenge in front of him tonight. All right, so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm gonna get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed him to become the champion, and tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Makashev, and we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Makashev tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Magomed Ankalaya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Champion of the world, Islam Makhachev. Herb Dean, third Let's man fight. in the octagon Let's tonight. Fight. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo world champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Makhachev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground. In the half guard, nice shots landing from the top position. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, he got to the spot. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Akasha. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nice. Just over three minutes to go. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Islam Makasha. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistent. Big right hook there by the champ. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. 
Gerhardt working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Excellent ground and pound strikes here by Magomed Ankalaev. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another strike gets through from the top position. Gotta be careful here. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. He Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's gotta move, John. He's gotta shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. He has to be feeling good as he walked back to the corner. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Ready. Ready. Go. All right. Round two. Flush me to the box. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. And now a left. Oh! That elbow knocked the target very quick. Oh, combination of knees. That is. Makashev's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Now inside the... Attacking all ball. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Well, he grounded him and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Islam Makasha. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Starting to do some really significant... Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flew. He's got the side now. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. You gotta get out of there. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. 
five seconds winding down in round two. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, buddy, take a seat. Breathe, relax. You did great out there. Let's make sure we stay a little safer, though. There was a couple opportunities he had to grab some submissions. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the Great end of that fight. round. Great. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Pretty good jab there by Ankalaya. Blocks the shot to the body. Really good level change. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Akasha. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, yeah, he's got it. Just sit tight. Deon Belly. Lakashev's has got full mount now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Heavy on top. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom. All right, setting up for an on bar now. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look. Man, I always think they're done. Surprise me. Under two minutes to go in round three. Oh, you gotta be careful there, yep. Oh, big elbow. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Under a minute to go. Nicely done. Good work from the top here by Islam Akasha. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, that's very deep now. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five, and this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good at round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the fighter.
go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Magomed All right, what a moment from Magomed Ankalaev, your winner by knockout here tonight, and very likely to be $50,000 richer after this one. I mean, that was such a dominant performance by Ankalaev.